Every nigga get to the money like a motherfucker. Like a motherfucker. Every nigga get to the money like a motherfucker. Like a motherfucker. Yeah. Look, bitches always on some bummy shit, that shit getting old Knock them down like some dice, sit back, watch it unfold I ain't fucking with them bitches cause them bitches get too bold Alright you guys, so this wig that I'm featuring today is from V Show Human Hair Collections Shout out to them for sponsoring this video And shout out to Kay for um, dyeing this wig and installing it And basically bringing my birthday wig vision to life so you guys, um, I received this wig pretty quick and I want to say shout out to them for that because I did not know what I wanted to do with my hair for my birthday, which was October 12th. I know it's Scorpio season right now, but shout out to all my Libras and to my Scorpios because, you know, I guess I have y'all time to end in October, so it is what it is. So basically the wig that they sent me here is this um, 613 body wave wig. This is in 250% density and this is in a length 26 inches. I really wanted to go for 30, but yeah, they told me they was out of stock. So I couldn't get it, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. So I had them send me an extra bundle just because I know I like a lot of fullness and I just wanted to make sure I had enough hair better to be safe than sorry. So that's that. As you saw, Kay went ahead with the Mocha Adore hair dye to try to dye the wig, but you guys, I would not advise y'all use this. It did not come out the dark roots that I wanted it to come out. The Mocha on the 613 translated as a more warm tone brown, and I didn't like that with the ashy platinum kind of color I was trying to go for. This root will more so work with the yellowy 613 look, but not for the tone that you will see Kay do later with the Wella toners. So we ended up using a different dye for the roots, which is what I usually use. I just tried something different, but you guys will see that on what we use. this part in so that you guys could really see how intricate and precise she was with this process you do want to be very careful with the roots and make sure you spray it so much with the yellow got to be sprayed so that it doesn't get on the lace and tinted dark dark brown so make sure you guys are just pay attention to that even though we ended up doing the roots again I wanted you guys to see the intricateness that she was putting into this <music> All right, you guys, so now we are going to get into the toning process, and today I'm using the Wella Color Charm T35 with 40 volume developer. Usually when I like to ash out my blondes, I go in with purple shampoo, but no, I wanted a specific blonde, and this is what I wanted to use. So here she poured the developer in the same bottle as the toner to make sure that the ratio was equal, and I think that was pretty smart of her to do just so that you could know how much to use because we were using basically three boxes on um, the whole entire wig. Now granted, this wig, like I said, um, was without the bundle right now, so the three toners were pretty much good for the wig. Then we used that extra bottle on the bundle and added it a little bit later. As you can see, she's going in with the brush on the roots to try to get it more intricate, like on the spots that weren't, you know, going through. The brush is helping you put it on there a little bit more precise. But for the most part, she's just going through it with her fingers and just going with the flow. As you can see, the toner works pretty fast. So I would suggest you guys leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes after getting it all over the hair. So it's not over toning. And then you will basically wash it out and wear it. But in this case, we had to go back and fix the roots because the roots were too warm and I wanted more of a darker, cool tone root. All right, so we didn't show the second root process on camera, but I will insert what dye we used. We used the Bigen chocolate brown color and i'll insert a picture just so you guys can know but basically she braided my hair and did my foundation my ball cap and we um used the even medium brown lace tint spray to get it to match my color 
And then here we are going along with finding the best positioning for me. And again, y'all, I look dusty. Y'all, I've been, this year has beat me up and you can see it on my face. So anyway, we are on the process of getting me back to my sleep schedule, back to me, just back to a healthy neck. So sorry about that, but y'all will see later on the transformation okay so right now we're using the erica j hold me down lace glue the best lace glue in the game notice it's not sponsored and yes i paid 80 dollars for that bottle okay and k got one too because she wanted it for her client so yeah we do two to three layers of that and then we're gonna lay it down okay so basically um i am going to wear this wig straight for this video as you guys saw it in the beginning and that's pretty much it for the, for the, for the, you know, walking y'all through the process. I will say that this wig was a little bit dense in the front. So she did a lot of plucking. She ended up plucking more when it was on my head so she could better see where to pluck. The lace melted beautifully. The install lasted me for over five days. And the wig just did what it needed to do. Just make sure that when you are dyeing these wigs and using toners or whatever the case may have you, make sure that you guys are making sure you wash out all of the products so that the hair is at its best and it's not weighed down or none of that. So make sure that you guys are washing it out so you cannot see no product in that hair no more. Okay. So like I said, as you can see, it's still a little bit dense at the um, plucking point so she's gonna go ahead and pluck it some more and yeah okay so at this point makeup is on honey <laughs> wig is laid Okay, and now she's going in with our Kendra's Boutique Hot Comb to really get that top area very, very, very flat. And then, pretty much, I'm not gonna lie, the footage got lost when she was straightening it and styling it, so I had to go back and do a clip for y'all myself. So, that's what happened with that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Shout out to Hair V Show. V Show Hair for sponsoring this video. I love y'all. Check out the Instagram post. They will be coming. And yeah, happy birthday to me. Shout out to Tokyo B for the nails. I did the beat. Okay, don't ever play with her. Okay. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I love y'all. See you in the next video. Stay tuned. And I hope to work with V-Show here again. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.